Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Around the World, MU Heard 37. Uh, so in our last episode, we flew over to Reykjavik, and now we are going to go from Reykjavik over here to the Faroe Islands. Uh, it's a pretty short flight, I think it's uh, 400 and some miles, I'm not for sure, I'll have to look again. Uh, but uh, without any further ado, let's move over to the uh, cockpit. All right, everybody, we're here in the cockpit, as you can see. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. Parking brake is on. The switches are all off. Ignition is in norm. All those circuit breakers are pushed in. Get our fuel tanks. Uh, all the, let's see. All these are pushed in. It's our ventilation fans and air conditioning. Bleed air, uh, bleed air heat switches down and off. Cabin heat mixing air control is pushed in. Emergency power level is, let's see, normal. Power level idle. Uh, prop RPM level. Let's get that to 100%. All the way up. Fuel condition lever is in cutoff. Uh, fuel shutoff knob is pushed in. Go over to the switches again. Our battery, turn that on. No smoke and all that stuff. Go ahead and turn the beacon on. Avionox switch number one. And our display comes up. Uh, emergency power is normal. Fuel boost, let's put that on. Where's our start right here? So we'll put this in low idle. All the way back over here. Starter goes off. We turn our generator on. Fuel boost comes to norm. This, as always, this likes it off, so I'll, I'll take it off. Avionics number two is on. Panels are coming on. And nav lights. Where are we? There we are. I gotta remember which one of these this one wants. Prop heat. There we go. And we're going to use I should have done this already, so they should be talking while we were getting ready. But we're going to use ATC to get out of here. Reykjavik ground, Cessna, IFR to Echo Kilo Victor Golf, ready to copy. Cessna, new clear to Echo Kilo Victor Golf, airport S file. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 7000. Departure frequency is 119.0, squawk 0535. Cessna, clear to Echo Kilo Victor Golf, airport S filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 7,000. Departure on 119.0, squawk 0535. Cessna, read back correct. Contact ground on 121.7. Reykjavik ground, Cessna with whiskey, ready to taxi IFR. Cessna, taxi to and hold short of runway 13, in taxiway Alpha, Echo, runway 6, runway 1, Echo, runway 13, contact tower on 118.01, ready. Taxi to and hold short runway 13, in taxiway Alpha, Echo, runway 6, runway 1, Echo, Alright, getting this one, set up, echo, trying to get one, this set up to 117. There we go. Alright, so where is our progressive taxi? Taxi. Alright, we'll put the fuel all the way up. And we can start our taxi. So while we're taxiing, <laughs> I just got done installing FSX and the whole computer yet again. With something with the sound card again, I told you it was like ghetto setup. It works perfectly. 
But uh, I was trying to get the sound down from my computer for for uh, the sound on the mic. So I put the panel, because I can't put the panel on the thing. I had it leaning up against it, but I accidentally put it on the sound card. Like, I guess I moved it. So the sound card went off. Uh, I unplugged everything. Uh, it finally started working again. I had to unplug it and completely redo everything on that. And it, it started working again, but it's all of a sudden the computer started acting really weird, doing really weird stuff and everything. And I could not, for some reason, get sound to my, uh, uh, check this, uh, to my recorder. I know if I get sound to it, because I'll get sound to my TV as well, so that's how I always check it. I can get video there no matter what, uh, but for some reason, when I'm, like, using my computer to get sound over to it, I have to, for some reason, when I hit res reset the computer, and as I do that, I have to switch my TV over to the uh, computer output, input, I should say. And then when it starts up, the computer, it'll start outputting sound to the TV. I have no idea why that does that. I think it's because of the uh, uh, setting up multiple displays, I think. I'm not totally for sure. But uh, I couldn't get any sound whatsoever, no matter what I did. So I said, well, looks like I got to reinstall this again. It's getting to be quite annoying, you know, it takes forever. So uh, I got everything reinstalled on the computer, redid FSX. I don't have everything in FSX reinstalled. I uh, Most of the airports and stuff, I haven't done that yet. I just got mainly my basic stuff, all my scenery and everything, and a couple planes. And I guess this is an FTX airport. I was pretty sure it was last time, but it looks like uh, it comes with that open land class here. Uh, I know they've gotten the free Iceland demo, which is weird. I guess, I don't know if that comes with it or what the heck that was. I wasn't expecting it last time. Alright, let's cancel this IFR. Into a stop. Alright, trim this up. Alright. Let's get our yoke back. Alright, so we're going east. Reykjavik Tower, Cessna, ready at runway 13, east departure. Cessna, clear for takeoff, runway 13, departure to the east approved. Sweet. Clear for takeoff, runway 13, Cessna. I forgot my taxi light tag on it. Landing lights are on. Strobe is on. I think I forgot the landing light last time as well. So let's get this thing out here. Get my altitude while I'm at it. Might as well. Might have to redo it again. I, I still haven't figured out exactly why that happens sometimes. I think it's because uh, the sequence in which I push the buttons is what I'm thinking. Might as well just do a rolling stop. These clouds do not look correct. Well, they, I guess they could be. I reinstalled Rex. Or no, I haven't installed Rex. Deck on it. That's exactly why. See, I, like I said, I haven't reinstalled everything. Alright, so let's go ahead and go for it. All right, full power and back off a little bit. Kind of a short runway. And we're up. Try and trim this thing. to go up just a little too quick. She doesn't want them to trim very well. There we go. Uh, now it's too much. Alright, we'll go ahead and lose the flaps.
Man, this thing does not want to trim correctly. Let's see if this trim is even working. Is this thing moving or what? It says it is. Alright, well, in any... Let's go ahead and get the autopilot. Altitude, let's go over to our vertical speed. Go to 1200. We'll have to adjust our heading a little bit. But, all right, everything looks good now. Leave in Reykjavik. Take a look outside real quick. Reykjavik and the autumn, I guess. The trees have changed on FSX. All right, let's go ahead and speed this thing up and uh, I'll be back in just a bit.
Alright guys, about 30 miles out, let's see if we can, uh, here we go, we can get him. Oh, there's no, ah, oh, jeez. Alright, we'll go for runway 13, I guess. Echo Kilo Victor Golf Traffic, Cessna is 24 miles northwest, 12,000 inbound to land. Runway one three. Well, we gotta get down then. Let's go to three thousand for now. Make sure that we're on the right speeds. Yeah, see it jumps up. I don't I don't know why it does that. Cause now we're only twenty miles out. Uh let's go vertical speed. There we go. Need to just sink quicker. Bring back the throttle. I don't. So there's no. That's kind of surprising that there's no air traffic control. Let's bring this in. So we're landing on, I guess, runway 13. Let's see. Procedures. Here, I guess. All right, had the wrong one. All right, thirteen. I'm cool with that. All right, let's go ahead and load that. Of course we're wrong. You go way to the right. Not way to the right, but you know what I'm saying. But your airspeed is dipping a little bit. Make sure that we're still on that speed because it hasn't moved us over again. Looks like we're about good now. Forgot the 10,000. You gotta turn the landing lights tax light on. Forgot about that again. It's like we got some mountains over here. Cliffs. Obviously no payware here, just you know the FTX regions and stuff. But I don't think I don't think the Faroe Islands are included be for sure, but I highly doubt it. Uh, FTX Europe, uh, I don't think it includes the Faroe Islands, but I have, like I said, I have no idea. Let's go outside and take a look around. Just about there. Of course, still high. I guess we could go down a little bit more. I took it down. We were cruising at 1,500. I took it down to, or sorry, 15,000. I took it down to 12,000 to help us on that. But that 8x didn't help when I didn't know it was at 8x. Kind of hard to see this screen down here. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can't pop it out, make it bigger. 
kind of wish we didn't have clouds just so I can see the scenery. It looks really cool from what we can see. It's like it just pops up from the sea. Kind of looks like a cool place. All right, just crossing 5,000 feet. Make sure it doesn't speed us up again. Alright, almost to 3,000 feet. Let it go down to 2,500. And can't see anything. I mean, it's runway 13. Why are why is it? Oh, geez, there it is. Alright. Looks like we're about right on it. It says we're a little high. There, I think we're right on it. It just seems like we're coming in too angled at, for runway 13. Okay, we're a little low now. Increase the power. I thought, if anything, we were going to come in a little too high, but... You got to remember the throttle on this thing is a little, a little touchy. Man, this is just like total mountains. I want to slow it down a little bit. Get the flaps out. It seems like the runway should be going to the, our right, but I just can't tell on the map. Or it could just be the approach because you got the mountains, so you can't really come in over the mountains. This is actually a really cool approach. Yeah, the runway is going over to our right. It's got to be just be the approach because of the mountains. All right, we're at full flaps. We need to get down. This is a really cool approach. I don't know if this is the only airport in the Faroe Islands. I have no idea. So I would, thought it would be a little bit of a bigger airport. I know they've got, I was looking it up on Wikipedia, they have flights from like Reykjavik and somewhere over in England. I can't remember exactly what airport that was. I think they have one national airline or something. There's a cliff right in front. It seems like there's always with these meshes. I don't know why that always is. Echo, Hilo, Victor, Golf, traffic. Cessna is on final runway 13 to land. A little high again. And 
Got a road on that cliff. All right, a little low now. squirrely at the end not too bad got squirrely at the end but all in all wasn't too bad tracked our flaps I guess we'll go to the end and turn around almost looks like it's got like a dusting of snow up there maybe those are just rocks shouldn't be any snow I guess Heck, that was a, actually a really cool approach. I don't know what, what that goes to. I don't know why it's so big. So it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Is it possible that this is the only airport at the Faroe Islands? Because you would think there would be, if it's the only airport for the entire island, you would think it would be bigger. Although I was looking, I think there's only about 50,000 people on the entire, entire Faroe Islands. Oh, there's some more buildings over to the right. Maybe it is a little bit bigger. That was a cool approach. I almost kind of want to do like a video on that, one of those FSX flights. I don't think you can get a very big uh, plane in here, though. I know you can get Twin Otters and stuff like that. De you can probably get Dash 8s here. I'm not exactly sure of the length of the runway. It's obviously not that long. Alright, we'll get off the runway here. Alright, the landing lights can come off. Turn the strobe off. Announce we're clear of the runway. Echo, Hilo, Victor, Golf, traffic. Cessna is clear of the runway. Alright, we'll find ourselves a parking spot. Looks like we got one right over here. Park anywhere you want. That's right, I want to turn up the general aviation and uh, airline density as well. It's one thing I keep forgetting to do. This is a little more interesting when there's a lot more planes around. Alright, we'll stop it right here. Parking brake is on. Prop all the way down. I do not know the proper way. Is that off? It is off. Right, yeah. I don't know the proper procedure for turning this thing off. Let's turn the generator off. Turn the avionics off. Turn that off. Cut off the fuel, put this all the way down. Taxi light goes off, beacon off. 
We can turn the battery off. I believe that's everything. We turn our fuel from the tanks. All right. That's it. We are in the Faroe Islands. So I don't know where we're going to go next. Uh, I was thinking probably Isle of Man. Uh, I have an air, FTX airport. I think it's, I can't even remember where it is in England. Uh, Sunberg, maybe? So I was thinking about possibly going there, but that's just because, you know, we got scenery. But we obviously don't need scenery. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is pretty, I mean, this is stock and it was pretty awesome, actually. Uh, but I was thinking Sunberg or uh, Isle of Man. I'm kind of thinking Isle of Man just because it's kind of unusual. I do believe there's an airport there. I actually probably checked it up. I'm sure that there is. Uh, so I was kind of thinking Isle of Man. I mean, I've never been there. Why not just fly there? Seems like a cool little place to go. And after that, I have absolutely no idea. So if you want to leave a comment, uh, tell me where you'd like me to go. And... Uh, well, I guess that's about it. So next stop, probably Isle of Man. Like I said, leave a comment. Uh, name some places you would like to see, something like that. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you on the next flight.